Hey, I'm Kevin Taylor. I'm an artist and a game developer from the UK. I've worked on Call of Duty and Aliens vs Predator, amongst other games. Welcome to Groovy TV. I'm here with the awesome, the mega awesome, Kevin Taylor of, uh, you do so many video games and so many other cool things, and we're here at Comic-Con. How the heck are you doing, man? Uh, pretty good. It's been, uh, it's my first Comic-Con. It's my first convention as an exhibit and artist, and it's been crazy. It's been a lot of fun. So many people showed up. It's incredible. It's been insane. It's just a sea of enthusiasts and uh, mad cosplayers. Uh, it's, it's been an experience for sure, yeah. Now, speaking of enthusiasts, um, you've designed and did the art for an enormous, incredible, you're, you have a catalog that's insane. Like, how did you even get into this? Uh, you know, I was always a drawer. I have been drawing since I was a kid. Um, I went to college, I learned some 3D skills, uh, and then I just, just put a lot of hours in, really, and that, you know, they, they picked me up. I got picked up by Rebellion, and, and then the rest is history. It's so cool. And uh, l let's, start, let's start with Sniper Elite, because I know Dino, the camera guy, is freaking out. <laughs> He really, really wants to know, like, how, how that all came together—the three, three D, the whatever it's, the motion, bullet time, whatever it's called. Yeah, well, I did like a bunch of stuff for the game. Actually, I did some conceptual artwork in the early days for like the costume, and, and I built the very first kind of characters for the game as well during the alpha and the beta stages. Wow. Um, and I'm not sure for those who haven't haven't played the game. Um, in that game, you shoot the bullet and it goes inside the body. Yeah. So I actually worked on the modularity system for the characters so we could figure out how the bullets could hit and all, all of that stuff. Uh, yeah. So that was pr a pretty exciting thing to work on. And from there, I went on to the, uh, the environments and some of the multiplayer DLC as well. Yeah, because like, Sniper Elite is a true, like it's a unique experience onto itself. You know, like, did, was there any like body parts like, no, I don't want to draw that? You know, there was some pretty gruesome research I had to do for that game. Some dark stuff that keeps me awake at night. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> obviously, you know, I know how a bullet enters the body and what it does now. But uh, yeah, but there was one fun thing though. We did DLC where you can shoot Hitler. And if you shoot him in a certain region, you see his prosthetic ball when it goes to x-ray inside the body, which I was pretty excited that we kept that real, you know? That was pretty cool. <laughs> I don't have the DLC, but I'm going to get it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I'm, I'm glad to make a sale. <laughs> right on. So let's let's go down the line. The World at War, I played this game way too much. Like, What did you all do for that one? Great. I was an environmental artist for that. That was one of my first big games, actually. I came up, um, you know, straight while the game was being developed. And before long, I was a, a lead environmental artist. I had my own level, and I had you know people making stuff for it. So. What, 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 which level is yours? Uh, my level was level 8. I forget the name of that level, but I was bringing in uh, artwork from all the different artists for that, and it was pretty, pretty exciting. Yeah. Do you know what's the name of level eight? <laughs> Off the top of your head, go. <laughs> He's played that game way too much too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was back in uh, you know quite the early 2000s, I guess. So yeah, yeah some of it's you know, my memory is going a little bit on some of it, but I can, I can. I don't even remember what happened yesterday, so we're good. <laughs> all right, cool. <laughs> so. I mean, are you an avid gamer yourself? God, you know, I, uh, I came up playing video games from a very early age. Um, like the Spectrum, the ZX Spectrum, which was a, a UK uh, like computer, a little personal computer. I played a lot of that. The old tape loading video games. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously the Ataris with the cartridges came in. And yep. just, yeah, so my whole life I've been playing video games. I've loved that. Just the experience of being able to control something, you know, on the TV is, it's fantastic. So, yeah, long time gamer. So our assistant, wherever the heck he went, he'd be mad at me if I didn't ask about your Square Enix. What were what you done for them? Ah, okay, we worked on a video game called uh, Rift uh, with Square Enix. Okay. Um, yeah, and I did some conceptual artwork and some 3D environmental work for that as well. In fact, some of the work you can kind of see here, some of the well, concepts. Can we grab one and show the camera here? Absolutely. Uh, so. The enemies in the game, it was an elemental based video game, so there were different areas and zones. This was a uh, an earth elemental character that I kind of designed, and you can see there that he's a combination of different elements of the earth. So stone, roots, all of those kind of things that come together to create this, uh, this pretty gruesome character, hopefully. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Do I think um, you, you do other things too. Obviously, you have a comic book here and stuff. Yes, yeah, I've done um, a range of different things. I've self-published some um, books and stuff in the past, some illustrated uh, books. 
Uh, this is my first comic book publication. Nice. Uh, yeah, I did it especially for uh, for the Denver Comic Con, actually. Really? Uh, yeah. So this is an exclusive right here, right now. It, it only um, I accidentally received these this run of comics a couple of days ago. I didn't see them be even. You know, I had to leave. I drove over here to Denver, and uh, and I saw them. They were waiting at the hotel for me. Um, yeah, yeah. So I actually um, had to do it over 17 days the drawing, um, 210 hours, roughly about 12 hours a day. Wow. With literally, I left the house three days in the production to get to make sure I could get it done in time. Okay, so there's 210 hours of work in this comic book. How much are you charging for it? Uh, I'm actually charging cost. I'm charging five dollars. I'm not making any money on the comic book at all. It's it's all about the love. I think I make 50 50 cents on them. See, this is why you have to support artists. This is the point I'm trying to make. When you work 210 hours, you don't give your stuff away for a cost. This is what artists do, and that's why they are awesome and must be supported. So give this gentleman $25 for that comic book. I should have a tip jar up here, really, shouldn't I? Yeah, I, I'm a hungry artist. I've been living on um, M&Ms for the last three days. So, yeah, give me a meal, for God's sake. Someone buy this guy a brat or something. There you go. <laughs> I'd appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so what's coming up next for you, man? What are you all working on? Uh, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to finish off this series. Um, so I'm going to do a run of six comics like this. I'm going to get them all out. And um, from the feedback I've got from the Comic-Con, I think some people would appreciate some different things in this style as well. So I'm working on uh, some other artwork, mm -hmm. kind of, uh, you can see here, nice. combining some pretty uh, famous Me characters too. together. Sorry. So I just did this a few minutes ago, um, and I've been sketching up some different ideas for new illustrations. People seem to like picking up the individual illustrations as well, so I want to have a combination next time when I come back. Hopefully all six comics and a bunch of other illustrations as well. So we're going to see you again next year? Oh God, I hope so. Yeah, I, I love Denver and the Comic Con here has been very kind to me for my first one. You never forget your first, you know, so I'll be back. There's a special place in my heart for Denver Comic Con, for sure. All right, one last question, because I know Dino was asking about this. The Predator situation, what's going on with that? Uh, uh, well, it's, it's a very popular series. This was uh, Aliens vs. Predator 3. Okay. Um, I worked on the 3D artwork for that and some conceptual artwork. Um, and it was actually one of the more successful Aliens vs. Predator games. So some of the games that came later, Colonial Marines and stuff, they, uh, they tanked for different reasons, but I'm really happy with that. I mean, I'm, I, it's a beloved franchise. I've got some Geiger uh, tattoo artwork on me. So I'm, a, I'm a big fan of the Alien and, and the Predator, so yeah. I was really happy that we did, did that some justice, you know? Okay, yeah. Actually, that, I love that game. Yeah, Great. yeah, in the whole series, yeah. Cool, cool. That makes me really happy to hear that. Another one, another one I play too much. The other one, not so much. Ah, uh, yeah. I can understand that. Absolutely, yeah. Awesome, man. Thank you so much for your time. It was an Cheers. Pleasure. Cheers. It is Groovy. I'm here with Kevin Taylor, amazing, amazing artist. You've got to pick up his stuff, get his comic books, play the games. We're at Denver Comic Con. Bye. See ya.